This video is intended for members of NAES, the New Hampshire Automated Information System, who use Library World. You'll see how to export files of records representing new additions to your Library World catalog. Those files can then be sent to NAES services, so your new acquisitions will be reflected in the new pack. Adding holdings to the new pack is required for participation in the NAES Automated Interlibrary Loan Program and serves as a backup for your local catalog. You'll find information about adding holdings to the new pack by clicking on the Holdings Maintenance tab. Look for the Adding Holdings for New Materials link. There you'll find general information about adding new pack holdings and a link to specific directions. This link here where it says Documented Online. That brings up a one-page document that tells you where to send your files, how they should be named, and more. Now let's look at how to create your files of new records. This presentation is by Shelley Huntley at Shed Porter Memorial Library in Alstead. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, your first step is to go to the catalog page in Library World. Your second step will be to do an advanced search. Under the advanced search screen, you're going to do a range search. And you're going to do it by barcode. And so you will need to keep track of the barcodes that you want to upload to May services. When you do your range search, and I have these records ready to go. If you look up above, you'll see an export button. Click the export button. This will bring you to the export mark records page. You also have to hit export once again on this page. At this point, you need to go to your reports page. And you are going to scroll down to the very bottom of the reports page and click on Catalog Export Log Report. And you'll see here this actually even tells you the number of records, which is handy because the May services want that in their information. You're going to download this. So click your download link. Once you've done that, you need to open the zip file. Nays can't use the zip file, so we have to open that up. And then once you have this screen, you actually have to open up your text file. Once you have this, you want to save it as. I have been saving it as um, the title of the record that for my own records, but also for me, that I'll be putting in my email. That way, if there are any questions, I know just what record is being referenced. So in this case, I'm going to do HSDC, which is, which is our code. You need to do the date, 1113. And then you need to do a dash with the number of records which was 52. And save. And we'll start with that. And then you're ready to send, to attach it to an email to May services. Thank you, Shelley Huntley at Shed Porter Memorial Library in Alstead. Once you've created a file and saved it to a known location, follow the steps in this document to send the information to NAES services. Launch your email program. Create a new message. Enter the NAES services address. Put upload in the subject line. 
attach your file or attach several files. Notice the file now appears there where it says attached. And be sure to include in the message area something like this. Name of library and source of the records. And then you can hit send. Note the file name listed follows the conventions which are outlined in this document. If you have questions about how to change a file name, or any questions about what you've seen here, or other questions relating to the new pack, please contact the NAIS Help Desk.